All right, hey everyone, this is Sean with Fight Legends Media. Again, we're here with the Dev Update Weekly with Disley. How are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm pretty good. How are you? We're doing great as always. Very busy on all sides of the business. So far, we're working on, you know, on your side, you're working on combat mechanics, new character concepts and server stuff, all sorts of interesting things. Today, we're going to visit a couple more visual things. Uh, first up, we got a marketplace stage we've been working on, which is very exciting. Part of the Bloody Faces, um, I guess, early access. So tell us a little bit more about that. Yep. So it's got the, we've got the marketplace It's really exciting because it'll actually be used both for the website and for the game. So it'll be the background that all the people interact with when it's uh, when you're doing all of the trading functions on the website, but also obviously the players can actually fight in the game with it. So there'll be some pretty cool um, crowd reactions that we're going to have with it. And we're just, it's an early progress shot that you'll be seeing on the screen now. Um, and so it's, we haven't done lighting yet. We haven't really added much of the props or the environment and stuff like that to it. Awesome. Well, seeing Ross in there really gives you a, an idea of how it's going to be. And uh, what kind of props are you having other than like your basic? Are you going to have anything cool in there? Can we give a little uh, sneak peek into that at yeah. all? Yeah. So the aesthetic we kind of want to go with is sort of like that Asian street market kind of feel. So there's going to be like a lot of food vendors. There's going to be a lot of like clutter. It's going to be a lot of like sort of open and uh, it's going to be really heavy with the sort of uh, atmospheric feel to it so um we're also going to be playing around with the lighting aspects of it so potentially it might be at night time a little bit less crowded okay. when you play it sometimes and sometimes it's going to be daytime when it's going to be more hustle and bustle well, that'll be awesome that's that's very cool sounding and then the other thing you guys are working on is the uh, uh well hit reactions just in general right now we're going to show you a power kick hit reaction but we also have some other ones from uh that ross is uh well, they're all Ross, but uh, some more hit reactions that you're baking in and working on. So tell us a little bit more about that. Yep. So there's going to be, uh, we're basically making a whole bunch of tweaks to the hit reactions because they're a bit powerful at the moment. We want to take dial them down a bit. So only use those really strong ones for when, you know, big attacks happen. Mm -hmm. But the one you'll be seeing on the screen at the moment is a power kick reaction. So this is a custom reaction to one of Ross's really strong power kick moves. Uh, it throws Ross right back. And if he hits a wall, it'll actually have a special like bounce that happens off of that wall. So it makes it a bit more interactive with the environment. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, from what I've heard, we're going to have some moves that go off of the wall too. Can you tell us a little bit about that? If we're able to, I, it's, I'm very mm -hmm. excited about this move. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So there's a wall kick I'm implementing at the moment. So I had to make a, a custom detection for the edge of the screen or the en edge of the environment. Um, so that Ross knows where obviously he can bounce and ricochet off of. Um, it's still dialing in the mechanics of it. It's technically in the build at the moment, but I haven't actually added it um, properly yet. So you can actually pull it off if you try. Um, it doesn't have all the uh, animations smoothed out yet. So gotcha. um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting mechanic. You're going to be able to, the closer you are to a wall, so the closer the opponent is pushing you into a corner, the more of a uh, jump over their heads you'll be able to do. So it'll actually give you kind of an exit strategy. But also because of the way that it hits back and forth uh you'll be able to if you time it properly get behind them and actually kick them in the back so that'll be interesting like little mechanic interesting more ways for wombat to switch onto his good side that's what i'm hearing <laughs> nice <Yep. laughs> well awesome just man yeah yeah that's great and just remember uh, for everyone out there to get access to the early demo this clubhouse and whatever else um the early access will provide you got to go to bloodyfaces.io and get that nft and join the community and check out what's going on uh we have amas every week you can check out the recordings here on youtube so make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next week for the dev update live